Southern pupils have been helping to make the beginner's guide to macro moths in Māori and English. They're participating in a Curious Minds funded program at the Orokanui Eco Sanctuary in Dunedin. Landcare research scientist and program facilitator Barbara Anderson says the brochures are dedicated to Takuta Kopapa because of the lack of educational resources available in Māori. Visiting them made us realise that there is a serious lack of resources for Māori in, in Māori and so we have lots of immersion Māori schools, primary schools in New Zealand but they have really few science resources in Te Reo Māori and that means that we have fewer and fewer kids coming through into sciences and we need that diversity in science because that's what makes science great. She says for kids to be interested they need to have knowledge. The idea behind that is that people care about things that they know more about and the more they know about them the more they'll care about them the more they'll value them and then we'll be able to look after our moths better because moths are a huge part of our native biodiversity. Anderson says there are about 2,000 catalogued moth species in New Zealand, but hundreds that still haven't been named or described. The hands-on second part of the project allows pupils to experiment and come up with research ideas. Auckland Moth Taxonomist showed them how to pin moths on a board before they gave it a go. And they've spent three days here and we've gone through the whole process of making a scientific experiment, coming up with a question, uh, treatment control, reference sites and putting out the traps, uh, measuring all the covariates around it. Two students and a teacher from 12 different schools around the South Island participated in the project. They'll be taking what they've learnt at the Eco Sanctuary and setting up their own projects at their respective schools. So we've got a huge experiment that's going to run across the whole of the South Island um, and then we'll pull all the data and we're hoping to write it up as a paper. Participants seem to be enjoying the exercise. Uh, really, really lots and I really want to become a scientist when I'm older. The project is led by Landcare Research in conjunction with the University of Otago, Kaitahu, Orokanui and Takuta Kaupapa. Siobhan Watson, The South Today.